And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of Hello guys, me Carlos Santos and Capcom FM, and welcome to another edition of NBA 2K23 Career Mode. So, I'll be going against the Pelicans and the Magic today, so... As the fun that time says, I'll be creating a big lead on these two underdogs and just blowing them out, that's all. Like, I'm trying to be a good shot creator, while at the same time helping my teammates out, like DeMond Rosen and Zach Levine getting their points. So, yeah, I just don't want to be a ball hogger, so. Otherwise, I'm just gonna see what my teammates can do for me from behind the arc, and me, I can only drive through the basket and, yeah, you know, in the paint, so. Um, that's basically it on my explanation of why me going against the Pelicans of Magic are just easy, just trying to find that spark plug and actually improve my standings. So, my Capricorn FF, y'all have a great day and peace out. Pass to Ingram. Chicago grabs the miss. All right, so about the Pelicans. What has been holding them back? Well, B.A., it's definitely not the offense, especially with the healthy Zion. If they can find a way to have greater consistency on the defensive end, then they can take a big step as a franchise. Jones against Levine. Out to the right wing. Here's Williamson. Just five on the clock. Valanchuna sets a screen. Ingram with a deep three. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last time. For Chicago, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Levine passes to MP. Yep, that one goes. MP's got five. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. DeRozan against Williamson. Looking to end the run. Good D by Ball. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. MP, the pass to DeRozan. Levine against Jones. There's a screen. Levine gets the bucket. Yeah, yeah. And they're building up steam, getting out in front and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Fantastic replay. Hitting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Some changes for New Orleans. Nance, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Hayes comes in for Zion Williamson. And it's Murphy in for Ingram. And a change for the Bulls. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Now here's Jones. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Nance. And here's Hayes. McCullum right side. The three-pointer off the mark. It's a nine-point spread. Inside, here's Drummond, and the jam by Drummond. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now here's Jones. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And Andre Drummond is good. Andre Drummond. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup and they took the necessary time to exploit it. Jones and Ingram run the wings. Zion and Valanciunas playing up front. And it's McCullum at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And this is exactly what you love to see. 
up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure. I've seen a lot of coaches make the transition from college to the NBA. Smitty, what are the biggest challenges in making that leap, you think? I think gaining trust from your players is totally different from the NBA and college. Also, the pace of the game, not the speed of the players, but the flow of gameplay itself. And finding the soft spot in an NBA defense is much harder than it is in college. DeRozan passes to Ball. Here's MP. Vucevic, a screen on Williamson. Here's MP. No luck on that one. Nice D from Valanciunas. Boy, the Pelicans have really had a tough go here. Jones, the pass to Williamson. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. Williamson's got 10 points in the game. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Pass the ball. Down low. MP, that one's good. MP's got four points this quarter. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. McCullum, the pass to Valanciunas. Ball against McCullum. Ingram up top. The three is up. Ball with the rebound. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Despite all the glitz and glamour around the ball family, Lonzo is the ultimate team first player. Someone everyone wants to play with. MP finds Vucevic, and he gets that one. And the Bulls lead by 19. Good physicality inside from Vooch. He's not afraid to mix it up with the defender. Pass to Valanciunas. Jones with the ball. Valanciunas with a screen on Levine. Jones misses. All right, for Lonzo, what makes him such a great teammate, Smitty? What it is, B.A., he's always looking to others first. Lonzo loves to pass the rock. Defensively, he gives you full effort. So playing D, sharing the rock like Lonzo does, those traits make you popular in the locker room. To the paint. Here's Williamson. That's good. And it's McCollum with the assist. McCollum's got three assists now in this one. The explosiveness gets Zion through the contact. Defender didn't stand a chance. MP drives in. And MP throws it down. Hey, when in doubt. Coach for the Bulls. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Bulls. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for MP. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. And so in the game for the Bulls, Green out there with Andre Drummond. Then it's Kobe White, then it's MP, and it's Dragic in at the one. <laughs> one positive takeaway, at least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. You know, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just...
see that more drafting. Oh, number tells you where it's packing. Not that big. <laughs> and please look like Marty McFly on that skateboard. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Hey. What's going on, man? I am so glad to meet you. Chicago to start out. Now the starting group for Orlando. The guard pair for them, Anthony and Suggs. In the post, it's Van Carroll and Carter Jr. And it's Wagner in at the three. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Pass to Van Carroll. And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Chicago. Vucevic a screen on Wagner. MV kicks to Vucevic. Over Van Carroll. And he gets the friendly spin in that one drops. DeRozan's got his second basket of the game. This is where DeRozan makes his living. Such an excellent mid-range shooter. First quarter of play, one minute play. And finished off by Bancaro. And so much athleticism from Bancaro, that will translate well to the NBA. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G slam cam. MP finds ball. Five on the clock. There's the triple. It's good from long range. I tell you, it's unorthodox to watch, but ball shoots the ball 
with tremendous rhythm and confidence from beyond. When you watch Ball at this stage, very few flaws in his game. Yeah, changing the shot mechanics really opened up things for him offensively. He shot 42% from three last year, which is pretty good. <laughs> NBA. Hey, Kevin, this is kind of sneak up on you. I mean, great job of clearing the glass and getting the break started. Still underrated as a rebounder, but is making a name for himself. And they pick up two. Ball's got five. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. Anthony looking it over. Inside. And there's Suggs on the assist by Anthony. Assisted. Bigger than your average guard, Suggs can score all around the floor, including down low. Down low. Here's Vucevic. Oh, and he jams it right over Wendell Carter. Wow. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Anthony against Ball. Carter with a screen on MP. And it's Rodger missing. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Here's DeRozan, and the Bulls tack on two more. That's their third straight make off an assist. Outside Anthony. Pass to Suggs. Two minutes. 156 left to play in the first quarter. Good on the bucket. I love Suggs' feel for when to attack. A strong mix of dribble moves allows him to just blow by defenders. DeRozan, a screen on Wagner. MP finds DeRozan. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And now the first time out called here for the match. Have waited until he got the look they wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with Vucevic, and it's Santos in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Chicago. Back to DeRozan. He's off on that one. And Orlando will come the other way. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. And the pass to Anthony. From deep three-point range. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Passes it to Santos. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So. And those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Ball. Wagner against DeRozan. Nice step back to get it off. DeRozan's got 12 points in the game. With the jumper, DeRozan is efficient. You really can't afford to let him get shots lined up. Suggs with the ball. Now guarded by DeRozan. Now, here's Bancaro. He's guarded close. Carter outside for three. Another miss by Orlando. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Here's Santos. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And that's now nine points for MP. The Magic trail by 20. Outside Anthony. Pass to Bancaro. Anthony looking to end the run. Vucevic with the rebound. That's a big donut, folks, here to start the second half. 
have four straight that they've missed. All I'm going to say is a few years ago, I would not expect this Bulls team to be in this position right now. They mm. weren't dominating, but look at what they're doing now. It's a whole new era. MP, no good. Orlando's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Pass to Suggs. Shot clock at six. Wagner outside. Those three pointers off the mark. The Chicago team, Richard, has managed to turn things around after a string of four losing seasons. And that's why you never count a team out. A few smart trades, some good draft pickups. That's all it takes for you to ascend the rankings and become a top team in this league. And the white coat. It's time for the good So on the floor for Orlando, filling the perimeter, it's Suggs and Wagner. Wendell Carter is out there at bowl, and it's Anthony in a point. MP, no good. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. Anthony can't hit. The Bulls shooting 61% from the field, showing some marvelous touch out there. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by MP. MP's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Anthony against Ball. Carter, the pass to Wagner. No good on the three. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And it's Ball in the corner. DeRozan, a screen on Anthony. Richard, I know you've been to Africa. Your mom did a lot of great work there. How great is that? Is making over there. Well, I look at how basketball changed my me to accomplish so many great things. And the more people that have the opportunity to allow basketball to change their lives, you got basketball without borders, you have academies in basketball, you now have the Basketball Africa League. It's great to see these opportunities extended to more people across the globe. That's why basketball is a global game. And that one drops for him. Ross has got his first two points of the night. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. MP finds ball. Back to MP. That falls. Nice feed that time from ball. MP's got 11 points here in just the second half. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pamba dishes to Ross. On the wing, Harris. Guarded by Levine. Pocket four. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. MP against Ross. The drive by MP. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Harris. No good off the back of the rim. The Bulls have gone 3 of 5 here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. DeRozan for 3. And the Bulls another 3. And perimeter scoring. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Here's Ross, and it's MP with the rebound. Really thought he had this one, and the defense, they were giving it to him. Yep, it counts. MP's got six in the quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Bulls. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them.
And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for DeMar DeRozan. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. MP kicks to Vucevic. Back to MP. Bamba with the block. The main thing you get with Bamba, the imposing defender, shot blocker, alters everything in the paint. So for the Bulls, Javante Green, he's checked in for DeRozan. Kobe White comes in for Levine, and it's Drogic in for Ball. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Bancaro's checked in for Mohamed Bamba. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Terrence Ross. Hampton's checked in for Gary Harris. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Anthony. And the paint is where you love to watch Boncaro work. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So. Make a happy Corona Night 5. Y'all have a great day and peace out.